now we will move on a bit and um, this time I have prepared this uh, already um, you have been through this a few times now so you have uh, you're able to create a family from scratch a very simple one um, a brick made of, out of uh, an extrusion a setback joint made out of um, uh, made of a, a sweep um, so if we see this uh, from the top um, this is the brick that we have here this is the setback joint that we have surrounding it um, then it looked like this and the way I created this was in a way like this so new family and I use this one metric generic model that is not the main focus we must have on this um, uh, in this video here um, because I want to make this as a line based family including uh, including formulas um, and uh, array so I close this I save this 213 brick I save this because now it is supposed to be embedded included in another family so I will go and say new family um, a new line based family and I will then say insert load family and load this so I place this brick on a work plane like this at an approximate place um, because I need to align this to the reference planes and it's important it's aligned and it's locked otherwise this uh, will not work I select the brick and say array another smart way of copying objects in Revit from A to B let's say we want to have five all in all um, let me just show you that that it, it will not work until we have created a formula so I can move this and uh, nothing will will work until we have uh, done the formula so <clears throat> and for creating that formula we need to have some uh, parameters to do that so I create a dimension from this reference plane till the end of the first brick 240 millimeter I select it and create an instance parameter called brick spacing when I select one of the bricks will have this dimension array dimension here where I can change the number of bricks in my array <clears throat> when I select it when I select the dimension uh, we can add a parameter again it's an instance parameter and we create a parameter called number of bricks like this and when I then go to family types and under number of bricks I say length in my formula divided by brick spacing remember to spell correct or at least as they're spelled over here otherwise it will not work then you can see when I move this that will be that will determine uh, how many um, bricks we would have from from when we model from A to B let's see if that uh, works out uh, well in 
the project file. So that's how it looks. Do we have some colors on it? Yes, we have. So remember to save it. Um, that will be brick line based. Like this into the project that for my project is now named seven brick. And then I can let's try to model from here to over here. We can then we can move it uh, afterwards. So let's go to level one. And then let's move this like this. And we can then adjust the length of it like that. And then we can, as we did before, we can say Control C. We can say paste into same, same place. Now we have two objects on top of each other, so I'll select just one of them and say 66 millimeter. And I will then go to level one. And then, I don't know, maybe we move this 110 millimeter like that to create that uh, bonding that uh, we would like to have. Let me just copy this, control C, paste into same place, select it, and say, if I say equal, then we can go to <clears throat> exterior side and see actually our wall tie is placed pretty good I would say move it a bit up and maybe we should copy this from here to over here would it allow this it will not because um, the host is not correct so we're just about outside this uh, wind tight barrier. So if we extend it a bit, we're supposed to be allowed to, to have this, um, this wall tie here. 